Hello and welcome back to the Commander series, where we play as primarily a commander, and we try to, well, make sure that we don't lose and get ourselves taken prisoner. That was actually one of my main fears in the first episode, and we're still kind of lurking around that point, aren't we? Anyway, we do have a number of people that have now been renamed into other... Um, <laughs> other things that are actually making sense so as you can see i now have all of my elite units named after types of bread mostly savory bread i'm not sure about tiger bread but someone actually did mention that they have this in their local supermarket and i was like okay i'm going to include that because <laughs> i don't i don't i didn't even google it i didn't even google it i don't even know whether it is bread but i took you at your word so i, I thank you very much for that suggestion and otherwise, we've just gone for some savory breads there. And then my other troop tree, as you can see, we have, um, well, I still haven't expanded this one, but we're mostly going to be going for infantry anyway, because, of course, we don't have too many horses at the moment. I will be expanding them as time goes on, if I can, because I was actually experiencing a huge amount of game crashes when I was attempting to modify these trees. So I had to be a bit careful here. Um, not sure if I'm going to even be able to expand the tree, but hopefully I will be able to. Anyway, this is my army at the moment. We have now made our way over to Ortizia because actually someone was very, very kind in letting me know that tools are a very good thing to trade as well as a number of other things that are not food, right? So for example, iron ore is okay. Silver ore is okay, as you can see right here. I could buy some silver ore and I can sell that for 160 at Kuyas. Might be a pretty nice idea to do that. Um, there's not much else here though, unfortunately. As you can see, tools are generally going to be considered the best here, as far as I can tell. Uh, so I don't really want to take anything else. We could go for some salt. I think maybe we'll go for 10 salt, why not? And let's go for... Let's go for 15 tools, and we need to sell these at Sanala, okay? We need to sell these at Sanala. Let's make sure that I actually remember that that is indeed the case, because you know me, my memory is absolutely shot. And I will not be able to remember the next two minutes or whatever, whatever I said in the last two minutes. Let's just say that. Anyway, let me see. Uh, what? What? Oh yeah, what do I need to sell here? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. We need to sell the salt. So there's 770 there, and then we're just going to go over to Sanala real fast. I will be attempting to participate in, uh, you know, some some bandit fights and some tournaments and so on and so forth because we are going to, of course, need to do that. And we also have a bamboo axe here as well. So if we want to do that, we can. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful profits. Look at this. 2,600. Super, super nice. Not sure whether I should sell my bamboo axe here or whether I should just leave it for now. But yeah, as you can see, massive, massive gains from our trade skill. Super nice. Okay, so we're actually going to be going for a minus 15% price penalty while selling trade goods right now because that is exactly what I'm doing. But... There is going to be a time where we start making a huge amount of weapons through smithing, and it may very well be a good idea for me to spec into appraiser, which is definitely going to be something that I might like to go for because there are a number of different combinations. Not sure if these combinations actually work because there are some perks that don't work together and they are actually exclusives. Um, but there is a there is a perk in the smithing tree. Yep, there it is. Artisan Smith, which allows you to have a minus 50% trade penalty when selling smithed weapons. So I'm going to assume that this is also similar in the way that it, it stacks. Or at least I can hope that it stacks. I think it does. Anyway, that would make it a minus 65% prize penalty if it does indeed stack and works together. Um, and then I think there is another perk as well somewhere else that also does something along those lines. So that's actually incredible. That is really, really useful. So let's actually just see what's going on with Solana right now. Ooh, massive amounts of grain here. We might... Hmm, not sure whether we can really do that, to be honest. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to be a bit careful with it. Or may maybe I don't. Maybe I don't, actually. Because we can just buy a bunch... And I can just sell it. Um, I can just sell it at Kuyas for a decent amount. And that's the point. Generally, there is a wonderful, wonderful strategy that, well, I think you could probably guess what it is. But basically, if there is a town that has uh, become under siege or something like that, and 
um, you see that, 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 you know, you see that that has actually happened, then you can take some food over to that town and it is actually very lucrative to do that. You are going to be seeing a very large amount of profit from that, even if you just give them grain or the cheapest, the cheapest food stuff in the world, because they will be pleased to receive basically anything. And that can happen quite a lot. So yeah, that's something to consider for those of you that are also wanting to participate in a trading based character. Anyway, we're going to be taking 20 tools this time for 1.2k. And then we're just going to go straight on back to Solana. I'm not going to take anything else along the way this time. And that's the thing. Basically, the best thing that I can do right now is try to get a good economy. And I'm of course going to be attempting to do as many tasks as possible as well to try and get as many people on my side as, as we can, try to unlock more recruitment slots and everything. Anyway, there's another 2000 there. I spent 1.2, I think. So we're gaining 800 gold. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that we did just sell some tools here. So it is now starting to become not so good to, uh, you know, sell things here. I'm going to sell the bamboo axe because I'm probably not going to be using it. And there we go. We got another 2.9k right there. So that's absolutely fantastic. Let, let, let's move on. Let's move on a little bit because I would like to potentially tackle this hideout, but I highly doubt my forces will be able to deal with it too easily at this point. We don't have any... Oh, we do have some prisoners. Oh, hello. Okay, we actually do have some prisoners. They could become Azurai Light Archers. And I should also mention that I do have a poll currently running on the community tab on my channel. And if you would like to have a say in what you would like to see going forward in terms of Bannerlord, then you can obviously do that. And by all means, if you do have another suggestion that you'd like to see on the channel, then you can, of course, also, you know, put your... Uh, put your two cents in there or something, you know, you can do that if you so desire. But generally, I was just asking whether you'd like to see a continuation of this series, which of course is a, a very, very different slant on the, the classic Bannerlord gameplay, because of course, I'm not actually controlling my own character in field battles, and indeed in siege battles as well, or at least I will attempt to do that, because obviously sieges, we don't really have too much strategy to really incorporate i mean you know most of the strategy is done outside of the battle itself before you even get into the fighting but uh field battles are a completely different thing and uh that's kind of the the whole point you know it's basically to make sure that we have a unique experience or as much of a unique experience as possible. And uh, generally, yes. The, so the poll was basically just to ask about that. Anyway, let's just move on here. Ooh, we got a bow. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is also a good opportunity for me to level up some of my uh, some of my skills, I suppose. Of course, they're probably not going to level up that easily. Oh, yeah. It's kind of annoying that I have gotten so far behind. There we go. Whew. Okay, that was a bit worrying. I thought to myself, okay, we're going to have some issues here if my Azurai Master Archer ally decides to get himself killed. That would be really, really bad. So I think what I'm actually going to do, especially versus a Mamluk Cavalry, potentially, uh, being in combat right here. I mean, look at this guy's armor. He's got some pretty good armor already. I've got terrible armor, so this is going to be not so easy. But I do need to try and help him. There we go. Nice. We were able to take him down. Oh, the Mamluk Cavalry wasn't even the one that was in melee, so don't think we really needed to worry about that too much. But yes, anyway, the point is, if we can actually get some decent skills, at least initially, then we should be pretty fine to continue onward. And uh, that's also the point. I didn't really want to go super hard on doing tournaments, because if I go super hard on doing tournaments, we're just going to have way too much cash as it is. And then it's going to be, well, maybe too easy. I don't know. Maybe too easy. Because that's the point. It is supposed to be a little bit of a challenge. And I, I, I do appreciate you giving me those suggestions and everything. And I, I really appreciate that. But you've got to bear in mind that, of course, I don't want to just spam tournaments only. We do want to do a little bit of trading as well. Because, as I said, I do want to get my trading skill up as much as I can. So, ooh, we can buy some wool here for a decent amount. Wow, tools are literally nothing here. Wow, okay, yeah, we, we need to buy some tools and then come back here, I suppose. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll buy some more grain. And I'm just going to make a very brief stopover at Razik as well. And I wouldn't mind actually doing a quest to 
not the manual laborers. No, leave me alone, manual laborers. That's that's very irritating, isn't it? Oh uh, no. Yes. Well, I would like to actually see what they uh, what they have here. Mm, 120. Yeah. So you can see Ortizia, literally one of the best places so far that I have discovered that we can purchase. Um, tools at and I would very much like to continue doing that we do have some clay here as well but the clay is not really looking particularly good so yeah we're not going to do anything there we will go into another tournament just because it is available to us right now but for no other reason than that and otherwise it is going to give us some nice cash which we can put towards our first caravan and that is the thing what we're also going to be attempting to do because this is kind of a bit of a challenge series I suppose you could kind of call it is it is it a bit of a challenge series I think so right because it's kind of kind of taking the control away from me quite heavily in regards to my own combat skills so I do need to be a bit careful here oh nice okay oh that's that's very good of you sir okay can you can you actually help me out sir thank you okay I appreciate that I appreciate that now we can actually help each other out nice okay you look at that the yellow team is actually working well as a oh, oh he's dead well, never mind. Yeah, but the yellow team was actually working remarkably well together for a very short period of time. And now we seem to have all split off into alternate directions, which I suppose is to be expected, considering most of the other people that were actually on foot have been killed, which is obviously not exactly the greatest thing, but oh well, never mind. Okay, let's see. Uh, do I want to go over for one of those horses? Probably not, because I am on a... Well, I am, I'm using an axe, so... That's not the greatest. Hmm. I'm actually wondering whether I should try and pick up one of these javelins. I've got to be a bit careful about this. Oh, nice headshot. Okay, hello. Thank you. All right, so he's definitely uh, running around basically with no HP. So we should be fine. Oh, nice. That was a good kill. Oh, look at that. If I do say so myself. Let's get back on here try and do some damage on a horse as I say this is going to be a little bit more difficult than oh no maybe not maybe not got to be careful here I really don't want to place myself between two enemies that is a really bad idea isn't it okay these guys are just going at it against each other and oh they did they kill my no they didn't kill my friend okay that's nice he's actually still alive surprisingly enough this guy is meaning some business, isn't he? Okay, yeah, we've got to be a bit careful of him. I really wish I had a spear of some kind. Seems like there's a lot of javelins on the floor, but not not any spears. I could potentially... Oh, wait a minute. Hello. Okay, no. No, you're not going to get me, sir. I will try and eliminate the green team member, though. Ah, oh, the axe is so short, isn't it? Yeah, the axe is really, really short. Very difficult to use. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, we've still... That's the thing. They could potentially kill each other. Why don't you Why don't you kill each other? Red and green? Why don't you kill each other? Please. That would be nice. Okay, my horse is getting stopped here. My yellow team member has been killed now. Oh. Yeah, he would put me into this situation, wouldn't he? Is this guy actually attacking me? Yes, he is. He's just ignoring the red team member. Wow. This is this is a classic Mount of Blade situation if ever I saw one. This is literally one of the one of the things that happens almost almost every single time actually. Um, wait a minute. Does it not say that I am Okay, wait a minute. What's actually going on here? What Oh, oh, I can take control of these guys if I want to. Okay, well that that's actually hilarious as you can see. I mean, it doesn't that doesn't actually do anything for me. Okay, just kill each other. Yeah, our team is disqualified. There you go. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. The way that Mount of Blade works sometimes, this is actually something I have seen in Warband as well. So this is this has carried over from uh, the previous game, which I gotta say, I'm I'm kind of saddened by, but you know, if that that's how it happens, then that's how it happens. But basically what I've noticed is that when you're in a tournament, most of the time, the AI is gonna concentrate on you. They're going to concentrate on the player character and nothing else. So if, if they see, ooh, there's a bandit base, ooh, I don't really want to do that. There are literal however many bandits in there. There's nine bandit parties in there. That's going to be extremely difficult for us to deal with. So probably not going to end up doing that, unfortunately. I'd love to, but uh, I don't know. If, if Okay, here's the thing. 
if I could control my 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 forces going in there, then I could probably I could probably do quite well. But the way it is right now, not really looking that good. Okay, I'm gonna go for HP in the athletics tree, and I might actually want to increase my one-handed skill. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can get double renown from tournaments if we get my one-handed skill up. Okay, let's just get a little bit of focus points in that. I think that seems relatively good. There's a caravan ambush here. Won't be able to do the caravan ambush, unfortunately. Not until we get clan tier 1, uh, because we are currently clan tier 0, as you can see. So I just need to get a little bit more renown. And that's the reason why winning these tournaments is also a pretty good idea, you know? Because you're going to be getting that renown. Anyway, the point is, what I was trying to say before, is that we usually always get focused whenever we are in a tournament if there's two enemies in in the fight they're usually going to ignore each other and they're going to attack the player character the most which i've always found to be quite weird because i don't really understand why that would be the case in comparison to them attacking each other they should really be attacking each other right anyway that's just something I've noticed. Anyway, let's just go on over to Habya here. There is a very far distance to go, but thankfully we have a pretty decent army. And so most bandit parties should just completely ignore us. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking, should I just go into that bandit base? I should probably go into the bandit base, but I should... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go into the bandit hideout in a second after we've uh, sold our tools here. And... Um, I'm going to try and do it myself. So I'm going to try to do it with me just, you know, um, doing the uh, doing the entire thing manually. Because let's just say I, I don't think that the AI is going to be able to do this with my current gear. I don't think I would be able to. Oh, really? There is no quest now to actually eliminate the bandit hideout? Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, that is absolutely hilarious. Oh, okay, well, there is a tournament going on here, so I suppose we didn't really miss out on too much. And there is actually some very nice body armor here that I would love to be able to get. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that I'm going to be able to do this. Of course, as time goes on, we are going to be doing many, many less tournaments if I can actually get my hands on a caravan that is relatively good, because, of course, I do have to find a companion that is actually going to be able to deal with running it so that means finding a really good one to be able to do that i'm so thankful i specced into one-handed oh no oh the red team is absolutely going to murder me oh no okay uh, not too bad not too bad wait a minute wait a minute i think we can i think we can do it or not i think i'm actually fine though all things considered i think i am actually through to the next round But that's not going to stop me from attempting to win. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was real close. Okay. Thankfully, we are through to the next round. I am so incredibly surprised, actually, that I am continuously being given a sword and a shield. Usually, they like to give me a bow. Or they like to give me a, a pole arm or something like that. But no, I seem to actually be getting pretty lucky in regards to my equipment in these rounds, which is very surprising. Well, uh, who would have expected that? I certainly wouldn't have, but apparently I was able to, uh, you know, get possessed by a very 
proficient thrown weapons person, because let's face it, I don't have that much thrown weapons. Usually I become much better with any character, as you might expect, when they actually have higher skills. Yeah, can you imagine? What a what an amazing notion that is. Who would have expected it? Anyway, let me just win this. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, can you, can you feel the overconfidence flowing from me right now? This is not good. This is not good. Because if you know me, you'll know that overconfidence is my number one killer. So if I'm overconfident, or if I'm confident for any reason, and I'm not saying, oh yes, I'm about to die here every two seconds, then uh, you can best bet that I'm probably going to die. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, thankfully this guy doesn't seem to be particularly good at what he does. But that is, again, there we go. Whew, okay, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Thankfully we didn't get too, you know, rattled from missing all of those thrown weapons and everything, because if you get flustered, I find that that usually makes things much, much more difficult. And of course, if you are fighting someone that is extremely high skilled, because there are a lot of people that are very, very high skilled in this game, for example, the vassals, lords, and so on, and they are going to give you a run for your money. So that's definitely going to make a big difference. Anyway, let's have a look here. Oh yeah, this is absolutely perfect for us. We are going to be taking plus 30 combat skill to troops in your formation. This makes all the sense in the world because we are, of course, going to be more of a commander kind of character and getting these bonuses is actually going to make a big difference now because usually I don't take or, well, I don't give much notice of these because I literally just think, okay, well... Why do I need to bother with that? You know, I, I'm not going to bother with that because I'm otherwise just going to, you know, win the battle by doing something else. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, let's just take a quick look and see exactly what we're going to come in here with. Really low tier units, but these guys can actually level up quite significantly from going in here. So let's go in and see what we can do. I have a bow. I also have a spear. Uh, okay, yeah, so the enemy has 12 units. They have, they mostly have Bedouin rovers. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I should be able to... Oh, hello. Oh, my bow skill is really bad. Oh, no, this is really bad. Okay, that was easy enough. That guy still doesn't... See <laughs> that guy still doesn't know. That is absolutely hilarious. Oh no, now he knows. Now he knows. Oh no, now he's like, oh yeah, I'm I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm about to slaughter you, sir. Ah uh, yes, it's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna shoot him where it hurts, I guess. In the neck. There we go. Perfect. Alright, that's fine. Uh should I pick up one of their one handed actually? I should probably do that, shouldn't I? There we go. A militia mace. Oh, that's that's looking pretty nice. I'm just gonna leave my forces behind, by the way, because I'm generally thinking that if I can do this solo, then actually do I even want to do that? Because I kind of want to get them experience, don't I? Uh, see, now, now I'm in two minds, because on the one hand, doing it solo is obviously going to be a little bit more impressive. And I kind of don't want to make it too easy, but I also don't want to make it that they don't get experience, because they're the, the main reason why I might actually achieve victory in any particular battle, so that might be a bit of a problem. Nice headshot there. Okay, we're just going to be a bit careful. Oh no, I'm, my athletic skill is absolutely terrible. So I'm actually going to tell my forces to charge in now. Well, uh, I, I don't even know what's happening right now because it feels to me like every single time I get into a battle and I just shut up and actually concentrate on fighting, feels to me like I do a lot better. Isn't that weird? No, it, sh it, it shouldn't be, to be honest, because, I mean, let's face it, you know, commentating and saying absolutely nothing at all 
<laughs> uh, that's, that's, that takes a lot of concentration, doesn't it? Mm, yes, indeed, indeed. Anyway, I will be dueling this guy because I do have a one-handed. So let's let's duel him. Let's duel him. Why not? It's going to be hard, I think. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe he's not going to be too difficult. How much damage am I even dealing to him? Ah, oh, there we go. I, I didn't. I don't even look at the text box because I've obviously disabled that other thing that usually appears in the middle of my screen because of the uh, Realm of Thrones series, because <laughs> of the dragons and everything. All right, so there you go. 2.8 renown, 2.8 morale. Not too bad, actually. And we do get 12 prisoners, which, if you recall, there is actually a wonderful manual laborer quest that I might be able to take. And look at the great gear that we just got. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. Yeah, look at these boots. Super, super nice boots. And we also gained some other stuff here. I'm actually going to be using one of these militia maces, I think. I think that sounds pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do there. A very nice victory. Um, a surprising one, uh, all things considered, because I actually thought to myself, no, I'm definitely going to lose this. But no, no, we actually managed to uh, succeed where I definitely thought we would fail. Anyway, let's take a look and have a look-see here. Nine of them. You need nine. All right. That's absolutely perfect, sir. Oh, yes. I have a bunch of people. So we are go just going to give you these 12. And there's 3,100 gold. We now have 11.8k, which is actually amazing. Never would have expected that so soon. There's an escort merchant caravan quest here as well as a tournament. Bronze scale pauldrons. I don't really want to continue doing tournaments if I can help it. I would like to get to clan tier one, of course. So maybe what we'll do is we will go, uh, yeah, we're going to take the plus 20 archery skill to troops in our formation. That sounds like a really good idea in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, I think I do want to get more trade skill. Um, is there anything else that I really need to get? I mean, athletics is probably going to be pretty useful for us. There's a bunch of reasons why we would want to take that. Persuasion increases, for example. Uh, yeah, I should probably go for athletics, even though I'm not... I'm not really wanting to do that, but yeah, I will do it. Train troops for this guy. No, I'm not going to be training troops for him, but I will be attempting to fight some desert bandits here. Now, I'm going to try, if I can, not to get absolutely murdered like I did last time, where they uh, ganged up on me in a pretty significant way. I am traveling faster than they are, so I should be able to yeah. get into a battle with them. Nice. Okay, so this is absolutely perfect. Let's go in here and do some real-time strategy stuff. Yes, real-time strategizing. That's what I should have said. There we go. That's a lot smoother. All right, so let's go. And uh, let's actually see what happens. Okay, so the enemy is over there. And can I go up here? Really? Am I allowed to go up here? Oh, th this, would be, this would be fun. I think this would be fun to go up here, right? Let me just stretch them out real quick. And um, yeah, my, uh, my cavalry should probably go and attack the enemy's cavalry. My horse archers should go and attack the enemy's horse archers or whatever. And hopefully they're going to do a decent-ish job. It always feels to me like they are... Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but the, the enemy's cavalry always seems to have an absolutely hilariously easy time, I don't know, of killing us. And we don't really do much to them, even though I do have archers, as you can see. And my archers are just kind of standing there. <laughs> not really doing much but thankfully we do have them actually killing the opponent and uh, killing their, their infantry which I suppose is good and we can tell these guys to probably charge in in just a moment it's time to charge in now there we go hopefully they can collapse upon the enemy a little bit here please do not get yourselves killed that would be so nice please do not die okay there we go that's not too bad and now we can just Oh, nice. Okay, he actually, yep, someone actually killed one of the enemy's cavalry, and now we've we've stopped this one, and hopefully that is going to be it for him. And there it is. Yes, indeed. Perfect. Okay, that's wonderful. Very nice indeed. So we did end up losing one, one unit, but, mm, well, there's not much you can do about that, is there? Sometimes you just have to take, you know, take the losses. And we do have a nice helm, but nothing too amazing, unfortunately, that we can sell, of course. Or we can potentially give it to a, a companion, because that's obviously going to be something that I'd like to do as well. Maybe just, you know what? Should, should we do it? You know what? Let's let's do this, okay? Let's go in for another hideout here. 
because I actually thought that was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun fighting in that previous um, in that previous hideout, and I'm not entirely sure why, because I, I think it was mostly because I was picking up items from the ground and actually utilizing them against the opponent. I was kind of scavenging a little bit, because usually that's uh that's kind of like thinking on your feet adaptability flexibility versatility whatever you want to call it it's kind of fun to do that kind of stuff in my opinion and whoa do i have a new bow no i don't what okay that's kind of weird okay i'm not entirely sure what's going on with that why am i why am i dropping this i already have a i already have a mace Okay, well, whatever the case. Oh, yeah, no, I killed that guy because I have that new thing, don't I? I have that new perk that increases my headshot damage by 30%. I'm, I don't usually take that particular... Um, <laughs> I don't usually take that particular perk for... Um, well, uh, the, I think the only reason why I don't take it is because the other perk just appeals to me much more. But this one is very good for the early game. I'm actually surprised that I haven't taken it before, to be honest, but there you go. Uh, it seems to actually be working quite well for me. And this guy has a massive two-handed. Okay, I should be a bit careful here. Thankfully, he doesn't have a shield. There we go. That's not too bad. And is there anyone in here? Hello there? Hello? No, no, there's no one in here, of course. Okay, so we can just move on over here. I highly doubt there's anyone here in here either. Uh, there are some people here, though. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I should have probably um, done a little bit of damage with my uh, with my bow, all things considered. But oh well, never mind. Let's get out my mace, try to do some damage here. Oh no, please don't die. Oh, and then we get killed. Of course we do. Ah... And, yeah, of course we lose the battle, even if I do take control of this guy. Oh, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. Oh, well, never mind. I was actually having so much fun there as well. Ah, oh, that's always the case, though, isn't it? That is absolutely always the case. Ooh, Rebels in Varchek have risen already? Whoa, someone was really, really fast. Okay, well, let's just go into a battle here against this guy then. There's only five of them, so technically we would be able to very easily win this. Um, maybe I should just, should I just tell everyone to charge or I don't even know where, where's the, where's the opponent? They're, they're just kind of over there. Okay. I guess we'll just move our forces a little bit closer as well. And technically my cavalry could just go straight in, probably do a pretty decent job just doing that. To be honest, don't think we need to. Yeah. As you can see, my archers are just completely tearing them apart, which is as you might expect the case, because these guys don't have shields. If we were fighting sea raiders or something like that. I think we would have an extremely difficult time. I think it would be very, very difficult because we would consistently be facing people that have good shields. And I'm not even talking about terrible shields here. They have great shields, those Sea Raiders, even if they are cracked or, uh, you know, dented or whatever, they're still going to be much better than the average. Um, and it's going to be a good, a good enough protection against any, uh, any arrows coming in that they're just going to be able to, you know, be so resilient. They're going to get to the, uh, you know, get to our archers in melee, and then just they're just going to murder them. And that's uh, that's generally what tends to happen quite often, isn't it? Anyway, let me see. Shall we sell all this? I think we'll sell all of this. Why not? There is a tournament going on here. Helmet. Do I want to do the tournament? Sure. Okay, let's try and speed run the tournament with 40% HP. Don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to do this, but... Yeah, maybe we will, maybe we won't. It very much depends. I mean, that's the point. If I get hit by a stray thrown weapon or something like that, I'm basically dead. Thankfully, the arrows that the enemy is shooting towards me... Are you serious? Come on. Get get out of here. Get out of here with that. Why are you targeting me, sir? Look at him. He's targeting me still. Even, even, though, he's <laughs> even though he has a bunch of people on him, he's just like, Nah, I've got to kill this guy. I gotta kill that guy, and I and I, I respect it. I respect his um, his uh, resilience, I suppose you could call it, or uh, maybe his hatred. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> maybe he's being uh, influenced by Mephisto or something like that. Diablo, anyone? Diablo? Uh, anyway, references notwithstanding. Hopefully, I'm not going to get killed by this thrown weapon user. Ooh, that was real close. Okay, yeah, that that guy could have literally unleashed at that moment. Probably done some pretty significant damage to us, but. Thankfully, that didn't happen. 
Oh dear. My red team members are having some problems. Nice damage there though. 70 damage to this guy. Oh no. This is not looking particularly good, is it? Ooh, 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 42 damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, can I do more? Yes, there we are. Nice. We're evening it up, and hopefully the Sword Sister with me is not going to get killed too quickly. I'd very much appreciate if she could actually do something. Oh no, it feels to me like I am battling by myself right now. Okay, not too bad. Do I have any thrown weapons? I don't have any thrown weapons. I don't. Oh no. Okay, I actually thought I would, but no, never mind. Okay, here we go. Yes, there we go. Whew, that was that was a bit close. That was a bit close. Definitely wanted to be a bit quicker with that, but oh well, never mind. Let's try and kill the thrown weapon person. Oh, nice. I was hopeful for the hedge slash right there, but unfortunately wasn't able to do it. This guy's probably going to kill me with a thrown weapon if I allow him to. Let's be a bit careful with getting killed by that guy as well. What, where's my guy? Where's my fellow? He doesn't seem to be helping me in the least. This fellow just needs one more hit and he's dead. There we go. Easy enough. Okay, if we can just stop this guy from running around, maybe my sword sister can actually do something. I actually wonder whether she can hit me with her thrown weapons. Not sure whether the AI can actually do that. Haven't been in that situation before, but hopefully not. This is actually an upgrade for me as well, by the way, this helmet. Because I was actually thinking, oh, you know what? I'm just going to get this helmet and I'll sell it or something like that. And it's going to be a pretty decent amount. But it looks as though maybe it's a better idea to just let it go. And there you go. Wonderful. Nice little victory for us right there. Another 1,500. Good amounts of renown as well. Obviously, it would be great if I could get the duelist spec, you know, specialization, or I could get 25 in charm, which is also the reason why I'm attempting to do as many tasks as I can. But, of course, tasks are a little bit limited in the way that they do give you charm. I have 24, actually. 24 in charm skills, so I'm almost there, which is actually hilarious because I, I, I think if I had this, I would have already gained... Uh, the next clan tier level, which is re really funny. Anyway, um, pole arms while mounted is, is what I think I'm going to be uh, taking most of the time here. Anyway, what, what do we have here? Escort merchant caravan quest. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's just equip some things here. We'll sell this for 622. Let's see if there's actually a... Uh, let, let's uh, speak to her. And how much is the caravan? 10,000? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now this was actually the reason why I started as an, as the Azurai, as an Azurai culture person, because you do gain a 30% discount, as far as I'm aware, isn't it 30%? I think it's 30% discount to hiring caravans, and that was of course one of my main, well, one of my main concerns was to literally get that up and running. And look at what we have here, look at this, we have a person with trade, charm, riding, steward, one-handed pole arms throwing. Okay, so she's actually not even entirely bad. It's better if she has scouting, of course, but she does have trade, so she could potentially make additional money um, that way, which would be quite fantastic. Mm, okay, I'm going to get her, all right? We're going to get her. We're going to recruit her for 460, but I'm not going to be making anything yet. Um, I am going to sell the, the uh, prisoners here. Yeah, so I'm not going to be making a caravan just yet because what I'd like to do is I would like to get her the better variant of the caravan. And I don't have any additional things to actually sell here. So what I'm actually going to do, I'd like, ideally, to purchase something here that we can sell for a mighty profit. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's anything here that is actually good enough, as you can see. Salt? Salt? Uh, not really. Okay, I'll just, get to, I'll just get 10. I'll just get 10 salt. That's really, really bad. But we can go over to Hubyar and maybe sell that for a decent amount. Basically, I just want to get to 15,000. I think it's going to be about 15,000 to get the better one. But I could be wrong about that, as I say, because I actually thought that I needed around 13, 14 for the regular... Um, caravan and obviously you're going to be spending quite a quite a bit more potentially with 
the upgraded version of the caravan as well. So let me actually just see. Let's actually have a look. Okay, is there a way I can get this? Yeah, as you can see, it will cost me 15,750, which is going to be significant. But this is hopefully going to make it much, much easier for us to maintain security of our caravan because we're we're we're, we're investing a significant amount so, i mean really it is a massive massive amount for us to put in to a potential business and we really do not want to have that business fail almost instantaneously okay oh okay that was a I don't even know what happened right there. That was that was kind of crazy. Okay, yeah. Let me just get out of the middle. Should I should I get out of the middle? I think it's probably a good idea for me to get out of the middle, because otherwise I'm just gonna end up getting shot by some random thing. I want that horse. Well, this is not too bad. Hopefully, I will be able to do something here. Mmm, nice. Not bad. 53 damage to the chest, nonetheless. And then we also got a head headshot as well, which is very nice. Oh, he really didn't see that coming, did he? No, not at all. Or maybe he did, because I hit him in the head. So maybe he may, he may have seen it. I don't know. But all I can say is that he's down now, and that is all we really wanted. I am super surprised that we're actually still having a number of uh, number of number of team members still alive. Definitely wouldn't wouldn't have thought that. Usually, my own team tends to get killed pretty fast, but thankfully they seem to be surviving quite well. Bone Crusher is going to be our reward for this. This is going to be a super super nice weapon for us to eliminate bandit hideouts and things like that. At least in the early game. And uh, amusingly enough, I'm actually on a team with my new companion, which is very surprising in itself. Please don't die. Oh no, are you serious? Oh dear. Okay, now I'm up against the named. Okay, well this is not too good. Oh yeah, someone actually gave me a really, really good tip, but I'm not sure if I can actually pull it off. Basically, it is um, animation cancelling... And uh, generally, whenever whenever anyone talks about an animation cancelling, I'm always like, oh no, you're giving me flashbacks from fighting games where I really am quite, well, not that good. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I just think, oh yeah, well, I really need to learn how to do that. So I'm probably going to try to go into like a, a practice, uh, practice fight or something like that, and I'll try it out and see whether I can actually get it working. Because if I do, then it will probably make it a lot easier for me to achieve victory in these in these cases. And it won't have too many stakes either. So it will be quite easy for me to do that with low pressure. So that might be quite, quite fun to do. I actually don't know. Did I take the thing that gives me that extra stun duration with my shield? Because if I did, then it makes a lot of sense for me to actually use stun. Because if I can use the stun... Then I will be quite happy with that. Let's let me actually just see. Okay, let me just be careful here. Okay, let me just. No. Nope. Oh, that was that was close. Oh no! Now he's gonna do this, isn't he? Ah, oh, yeah. Of course he is. How how annoying! You are an annoying annoying fellow, sir. Okay, let's try and let's try and bash him. Okay, that didn't actually do much. Yeah, so maybe I don't have the stun duration. If I don't, then, well, there you go. That's the reason why it didn't work. But if I do, then, well, I still don't know why it didn't work. Because 50% increased stun duration should be pretty decent, right? But anyway, we did get the Bone Crusher, which is really, really nice. And that will enable me to sell this, if I want to, for 1700 Look at how crazy that is. Yeah, I think I will probably sell it. Even though it is really good, I do have the opportunity to get more of these in other tournaments. So I will be selling that straight away. And then we will uh, basically just be buying a caravan straight up. Oh. Let's buy a caravan with better troops. And there we go. She's then going to do that. This is basically bankrupting me right now. But I have faith that she's going to do a great job. Okay. Let's see if she does a great job. Hopefully she does. Cross fingers, right? Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.